so I'm here in Beaver Creek, Colorado. We are one and a half to two hours here from Denver Airport. Nice easy drive up and what a resort. This is everything super slick. Escalators to get up onto the slopes. Everybody there to help you. There's people out on the slope looking to help which routes you want to take, what trails you want to take. And the skiing's fantastic. So base elevation, two and a half thousand meters up the top, three and a half thousand meters, 167 trails. But to be honest with you, that does it a disservice. You could ski all day, every day here for a fortnight and probably not ski the same runs twice. It's absolutely incredible. You can probably see, we've got a bright red nose. We've had some spring sunshine. It's been absolutely amazing. But we've also had some great dumps of snow while we've been here too. The other great thing is, if you're here with a family, as you can probably see behind me, you get a lot of sort of tree runs. And the nice thing is the kids can start doing some very early sort of off-piece skiing through the trees, glade skiing. Um, but in a really nice safe environment and that's a really nice thing for children that are heading on sort of young teens early teens very nice for them to be able to get that sort of slightly uh, more tricky terrain different terrain that maybe they've screened in Europe because the nice thing here you don't tend to get the mark piece like you do in Europe you tend to get really nice big open runs and you can ski hundreds of different ways down a mountain like I say Four of you can ski down the hill for two weeks solid and you probably not take the same path twice. It's almost like a private resort. They limit the numbers of people in resort. It's one of the Vale resorts. You can ski this on your Epic Pass. And we're really lucky to be going on to other resorts, skiing on that same pass. So it's a very slick operation, the same ski pass, drive onto the next resort and enjoy ourselves there. There's heaps of mountain dining here, but you get all the extra stuff like a candy store on piece, an ice cream parlor on piece as well. So loads for the kids to do. Great mountain restaurants, really nice food. The center, I mean, it is an acquired taste. I love it here. There's some people that will probably say that it hasn't got the charm of some of the Alpine villages, but I love it. It's super slick. Everything's very organized. The pavements are heated so you don't get ice up steps. The hotels are very slick and organized. I have to say, Beaver Creek, we have had some seriously good fun. Certainly in terms of dining options, when you come to Beaver Creek, you've got every single dining option you can imagine from fish restaurants to burger joints to fantastic Italian restaurants. One of the things I'd highly recommend would be to be taken by a peace basher up to Ali's cabin. Absolutely fantastic fine dining, but take your wallet with you. It's a beautiful, beautiful place and fabulous sunset views when you're up there. It's only about a 15 minute ride in an open sleigh. Very, very highly recommended. Lots of coffee shops very easy ski rentals very easy ski lessons private lessons ski guides everything that you'd expect in a ski resort i'd highly recommend this we've had a great time and uh lots to see in beaver creek we stayed in the osprey hotel the osprey hotel is the oldest hotel in beaver creek and it's actually the nearest hotel to a ski lift in north america you'll see by this video that uh, you can literally trip outside of your back door and you're sitting in the chairlift and that takes you straight up the mountain. So that's absolutely superb. Not loads of shopping here, just a nice little center with a big ice rink in the middle. So great for the kids in the evening. Lots of lovely fireside places. So outside they have these fires burning. Um, so you can sit outside and warm up while you're watching your children ice skating, which is really, really lovely. It's very well geared up for families and kids. I was, it's such a slick operation, you can't fault it. So get yourselves over to Colorado. If you want some of the big snow, and you want to make sure you've got those guaranteed conditions i'd highly recommend it so our next resort is 20 minutes away we're going to Vail after this so keep a watch out for that